Hi friends, wanted to come to you this afternoon, just kind of talk to you from my heart a little bit. Um, this, as you can imagine, this, uh, this pandemic, this coronavirus thing has really, has been really taxing on our church and myself and just trying to, to figure out what we're doing, um, where we're going, what it looks like. And I've been praying quite a bit about what we should do as a church and what that should look like in this season. And I, and I was um, reminded of a scripture that um, has spoken to me in the past. And I just wanted to share that with you and kind of let you know where, where I am. This is Proverbs 17, verse 24. And it says, The discerning sets his face towards wisdom, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. Now, as I think about what we're doing as a church today and what we've been doing and where we're going, I kind of think that, that I've had my eyes set on the ends of the earth, thinking about um, how church should look and and how we can replicate what we do here on a Sunday and, and push it online. And, and I've been traumatized and, and stressed over the quality and, and what it looks like and how it's, how it's being interpreted and who's seeing it and how many people. And, and I, I've just got to stop that nonsense. I can't, I can't live worrying about what the world thinks. I have, to, I have to focus on what God is telling me in this time. And friends, I believe he's telling me to go in a whole, in, in a completely different direction. Because just let's face it, what we do on a Sunday when we're together isn't, doesn't translate to being an online service in the same way as it would if we're here together. It just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't look the same. And, and I think we're doing a disservice to what God is trying to do in this season. I believe that, that, that God is in the midst of this virus as he, as he is in the midst of everything. And, and he will bring glory to himself through this. And I think in some ways he's, he's challenging pastors and leaders to think outside the box and, and do something different. So, and that's what I want to do. Um, I don't know exactly what it looks like. I'm in deep in prayer and I've been, I've been consulting with people that I trust and have speaking to them, and I've had them look at what we're doing, and I've I've had calls and talks and and all of those things, and it's it's still a process. And and what I put out next week will be just the beginning of the process, and it will be refined over many steps. But what I do know is, is I think that at the other end of whatever this pandemic brings to us, church will be and must be different if we're going to engage the world in the manner in which Jesus asks us to do, and that is to to reach the lost. I think for many years the church has only been serving the church and has not been has not been doing its job of getting outside and 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 I think this is forcing us into a new reality. So what does that mean for the immediate future? I I don't know exactly, but what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot more videos and and me communicating to you like this in short two, three, five, seven minute little messages to tell you how I'm doing and, and to, to tell you what the, how I feel God is leading us and, and, and to bring things to your attention that, that I think he wants you to know. As far as this Sunday, Easter Sunday, gosh, it's gonna, I'm going to go with the message that I had planned. I think it's a timely message and, and um, we, will, we will present a live performance as we have in the previous weeks. But I think that will be the last one that looks like that. And I think next Sunday and, and next week you'll see some different things. And I'll keep you informed as we go. And like I said, it's a work in progress. Maybe we'll start down that path and, and God will correct us and, and we go somewhere else. And, and we'll see what that looks like. But I think in the time being, I'm feeling challenged to spend more time connecting with you and less time on worrying about what the public persona of what Compass Point looks like to the rest of the world. You have to be my first concern and my first focus, and I want to focus there. I want to, I want to engage with you on a new level in a different way through media and through the, the technology that we have. And we'll worry about what church looks like when we come back together later. Obviously, that will happen. And we will come back and we will celebrate and we will enjoy being together. But until that time, we have to embrace what we have. I have to lead with the way that I believe the Lord is leading me to lead you. And we'll see where that takes us. I believe God is going to 
birth a, a new thing and, and a groundswell of, of new believers who are hungering for the Lord. They just didn't know they were hungry for the Lord. And they just didn't know what they needed. And I think that day is coming, coming very soon. And I want us to be a part of that and to celebrate what the Lord is doing. And it won't come from trying to replicate something that, that may be a dying model. I don't know. Only the future knows that, and we'll leave that to the future. But until then, God bless you. I'm praying for you. I miss you dearly, deeply. And I will see you tomorrow morning, God willing. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Good night.